So here I am, Union Bay State Campground. Interesting enough, probably about 10 years ago, my buddy Jim and Julie and his brother and his brother's wife and I stayed here. We did a motorcycle trip out here. They were towing uh, trailers and tents and bringing tents along. And I met them. They came from Vermont all the way down here to the state, uh, state campground. Sits on the uh, incredible Lake Superior. If you can see this. Temperature not too bad. It's uh, 76. Cloudy. There was a big storm that came through yesterday. It took me about five hours, well, actually seven hours to get here because <clears throat> I stopped for lunch and found a brewery about at 50 minutes away and stopped, stretched at a beer. Met a guy by the name of Paul sitting outside and we just had a nice little conversation, a little bit about his life. He's retired lives in uh, Indiana but comes up here for the summers because the summers are hot and sweaty down in southern Indiana but up here not so bad so a nice guy nice conversation quick beer and uh, 50 minutes later here I am Camping. I have the bike along. Got this tucked in little uh, little campsite. It's kind of private, without uh, too many no neighbors at all. Uh, if you walk through here, you'll see there's people camping right next to each other. It's not on the lake shore. Just up from it. But still a pretty nice place, and I took a little walk, and um, this is the it's a little harbor. It's the old harbor where boats in I think the late 1800s would anchor here, somewhat protected. But you know, as you can see, it's pretty open to the north, so got some protection on the west side but still could be pretty rough you can see like the waves coming in wonder if that water is cold ah. we'll have to find out but this bay if I remember that uh, shoreline way over there we were able to uh, get out and swim and because it's shallow enough the uh, Lake Superior usually is 45 degrees in the summer because it's so deep but here it's shallow and I think the temperature was you know up in the 70s so we were able to get a little swim in and hang out hopefully I'll get to do that too although I think tomorrow's high is about 70 but that's all right because 70 degrees is quite nice to be in. About high 50s tonight, so good sleeping weather. And so I'm out here on this little makeshift. I have to show you. It's a cool little stool. There's nobody here <laughs> for me. Look at this. Somebody made this little stool. Climb out. Not dangerous. A little rocky. Come down there. Sit and enjoy the evening. There my there's my company. They're my buddies. We're hanging out. Having a good time.
Boom. Learn how to use this phone. Tap and zoom. Boom. Okay. Not sure what I did, but worked pretty well. So I'm here for two days. Uh, they have a... It's actually, there's mountains. They go up probably about 2,000 feet. Not tall mountains, but mountains nonetheless. Up and over here. So we're going to ride up there tomorrow. Probably a couple mile hike back and forth. Explore the park. Explore some of the roads. Maybe get over there and check that beach out. See if it's still... Still a good beach. Uh, I read an article today in their magazine that said that the, the uh, water levels are rising, deteriorating. You can see over there, lots of erosion going on. Lots of erosion. Water levels going up every year. Hmm, what could that be about? Got to be weather, right? Or our friend, the world's getting warmer. So, boom. So anyhow, I'm gonna end this video. Little walk to my my bench. I'm gonna chill. I'll give you my little bit of my signature look. Crocs for the socks. <laughs> it's cool. Thanks for watching.